This is probably the best kept secret about Grand Turk in 2022 right here. And we just found it. That is funny. I'm up for adventure all the time and trying new things. What's up guys and good morning to the beautiful Carnival Mardi Gras. Today we are docked in the wonderful port of Grand Turk. Look at how beautiful that water is. Oh my goodness y'all. It is going to be a great day today. Today we're actually heading out and we're going to enjoy all of the free Peter's favorite word. Free amenities down here at uh, at the beach. Now it looks like that they've moved things up a little bit. So I'm used to seeing all the umbrellas and stuff all the way down, like as far as you can go. However, it looks like now there's just chairs there from what I'm seeing, chairs and cabanas. So I'll be interested to see what the layout, how the layout's different. Also, I don't think that we've pulled up far enough. Either that or we are just way, way, way bigger than I thought that we were. All of these umbrellas down here are gonna be paid. So any of the colored umbrellas, those are gonna be paid umbrellas. That's like uh, run by the locals. Uh, but the ones up there, the chairs up there, those should be free. So we'll go out and confirm that with you this morning. But we gotta get some food in our tummies right now. So Scott and I are gonna head on up to deck 16. 16 and I have some breakfast this morning. Peter's in the shower right now, so he's gonna meet us in just a few. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's struggling this morning, y'all. It's okay, we're on vacation, no rush, no way. <laughs> See, he really did. I wish he was lying, but he really did. It's all good, in any event, we're gonna enjoy the day. Let's get on up to deck 16, have some breakfast before we get up and have some fun today in Grand Turk. Oh, we're gonna get a haul all the way up. Oh, I jinxed it. Yeah. I jinxed it. Busy, busy, busy Lido Buffet this morning. They are, uh, I think everybody is ready to get off the ship. Last port day, Grand Turk's a popular one, so I expected for it to be busy up here this morning. What I got, Scott? What I got that you like? Oh, I got, I didn't like those eggs yesterday. Yeah. They, those look good, though. Those potatoes, you got sausage. I saw they had bacon somewhere. I thought the bacon was on a vacation yesterday, but I wonder, if, I wonder if they, oh, it's over here. Here it is. Here is that bacon. Good morning. Good morning. The bacon's back. <laughs> Right as you take a bite, Trish, you have something funny on your plate this morning. It's, so they went to Blue Iguana and they got the burritos at Blue Iguana, which by the way, they say are fantastic. Check it out. Uh, they have them for breakfast every single morning. But what is this thing? It looks like a pineapple cake. It's an arepa. Okay, what's an arepa? It for is everybody that doesn't a... know. It's um, something. Tastes good. Yeah, it's um, made from cornmeal and cheese and it's fried. And Oh. Um, yeah, it's very good. Delicious. Huh. What's the t is it like crunchy? Is it soft? Um, no, it's it like soft. It's like um, cut into a piece of it for us. Yeah. It looks like almost like a pancake. It's like a cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, there you go. So, wow, I learned something new today, y'all. Mm -hmm. You can get a rapist here on the Carnival Mardi Gras at Blue Iguana Cantina. Go ahead and check you out one. I might have to check me out one too. I'm not up for adventure all the time and trying new things. It's hard for me, but I just might have to do it with this thing. Looky there, we're just finishing breakfast and the freedom is back in with us. Oh my god, Peter. You're so silly. Are you ready for a fun day in Grand Turk, buddy? Oh yeah. Good morning to you. You were in the shower when we did our good mornings. Oh. Good morning, good morning. Look at it. Look at the beautiful day we're about to have. We're gonna go down and just collect our bags, uh, get our ID. Well, yeah, we need our ID. Our ID, our uh, ship card, we already have that, but sunscreen, definitely you're gonna need plenty of that today. Just some little knick-knack items, and then we're gonna head off the ship, get to exploring Grand Turk today. Let's do it. We're making our way back to the room. Peter just spotted something on the pool deck. There is an invasion. Call the cops. Oh my gosh, it's the towel animal explosion. Wow. Look at all of them. That's so neat. Look at this one, look at this elephant. 
It's like yeah. standing. That's amazing. Let's go. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's so dark. You ready? You ready to yes. explore Grand Turk? I am so ready. Do you feel well rested, Peter? Oh yeah. That was a good sleep. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> Ship sleep is the best sleep. Am I right? Let me know down below. Leave a comment. Look at this. It's I mean they're missing a couple couple cubes, but this is neat. It's like a little under the sea scene. Even the lights up here are dancing with it. Wow. Mardi Gras. Now we're getting off the ship. Yeah, exactly. Mardi <laughs> Gras. What's going on? They're glowing. What do you mean they're glowing? Oh my gosh. You want me to get the water? They're glowy fish. Over there. That's so weird. <laughs> we were just talking, the crowds are probably gonna be crazy getting back on later because Mardi Gras is so big and part of the Grand Turk Pier recently actually broke and fell into the ocean because of the hurricane that they can only have the forward gangway open. So only this gangway right here, that's the only one open. And so it's probably gonna be rough getting back on later. And there's two ships in this little Yeah, there's two ships here as well. Not at all. Oh, it's gonna be busy, man. Welcome to Grand Turk. We're here. We're here. Yay. All right, crew, where you wanna go? Beach or pool? Wherever there's no matter. Say what? Wherever there's beach. <laughs> seats. Seats? Yeah. Let's take a look at the beach. Let's see what the beach looks like. So when you come in, you've got some shops here. You've got a really loud musician, but he's playing good today. Margaritaville's over this way. Beach is out this way. We're going to go check out the beach first. Right over here by the beach, they have this craft market. A lot of uh, local and, and homemade or handmade items in here. A lot of not handmade items as well, but definitely come check this stuff out. That is funny, Grand Turk weather station. If the conch is wet, it's raining. Swaying, it's windy. Hot, it's sunny. Cool, it's overcast. White, it's snowing. Missing, hurricane. No, it's here. Oh, I thought it was over there. Oh, I guess it should be up there. That's funny. It's back here. Well, there was recently a hurricane, so we'll give, them, we'll give them a pass. So I don't know how recently this changed, but there's a big change here at Grand Turk now. The free chairs are back here behind this rope, and it used to be that up here was paid. However, they have moved all of that. None of it's paid now. And that, yeah, they've got it roped off, which, I mean, I guess is a good thing because now you actually, you know, you're not having like a bunch of paid umbrellas and people in here trying to sell you stuff in this area. Um, but it definitely limits the chair possibilities and there's no umbrellas back here. It's all tree shade or no shade. So we're going to keep walking this way and hope that we find something. But definitely I'd say if you want a chair, you want a prime spot, get out here early for Grand Turk. Uh, especially if there's two ships in. The island is flooding! This is, uh, this is interesting right here. This is interesting. I mean, they got free chairs, but you gotta be out here early. And there's no umbrellas anyway. So, this is unfortunately a bit of a disappointment for us. Um, so the free umbrellas are completely gone. There's no free umbrellas. Uh, there are chairs, but they're limited in number, so you gotta get out here, like, right as soon as your ship docks. Especially if you got two ships in port. We got Mardi Gras, that's got, you know, 4,500 people on board, so that's a, that's a no bueno situation. So unfortunately, this is a, this is not a good situation. I guess we could go check out the uh, Margarita. Margaritaville, yeah. And it's the same story, different venue over here at the pool. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty busy day here in Grand Turk, y'all. Two ships. 
the, one of them the biggest in the fleet. She does look pretty though. Look at her. Woo, Peter, it's a hot one out today. It sure is. It's gonna be nice to get in this water, huh? Oh, oh, that is nice, huh? Wow, this is nice. Well, did y'all enjoy the water? That was so nice, wasn't it? Oh my God, that was so relaxing, so nice. We probably have spent an, an, at least an hour out there. Yeah. At least. It, it, it was so nice, we needed it, y'all, because it's a hot day today in Grand Turk. Got the party going over here at Margaritaville, over at the pool. It is packed, it is popping. This is the place to be if you want the party, you want to have a good fun, Fun, crazy time. This is the place to be, y'all. Look at it. They got the swim up bar right here. You've got the pool. They've got all these bridges that connect you to different islands and different locations to sit and chairs. I don't see a lot of open chairs. There's a couple right over there that you could grab maybe, but uh, it looks like maybe one or two right here. Here's a quick look at the pool over there. We're gonna probably do a little shopping right now. Uh, make our way back through this area and then head back to the ship. Back on board time is 3.30. 3.30, I think, yeah. And it's like one o'clock right now, so we'll probably go up there and have lunch. We're not gonna make it down to Jack Shack. As much as I'd like to, it's just not in the cards today. That's all right, that's okay. Uh, it, it's, it's a busy day, y'all, with two ships. It's just, it, it's really impossible to do a lot of the stuff that you would typically do if there was just one ship here. So, just keep that in mind. Maybe look ahead, see, and it'll help you better plan your day. Woo, the bar is popping. Man. They do have a DJ out here that does like uh, games and music and stuff all day. That's nice. What are you looking for? Uh, they use, I need my magnet, my Christmas ornament, and a couple, and a shop bus. We doing a little port shopping? Port shopping. A little port shopping. Have you got a, you've got a Christmas ornament from here, don't you? No. No? Man, today might be the day then, Peter. Might be the day to get a Christmas I, I ornament. I finally got a tree. That's true. I finally got my first tree. That's what tree. Frank is doing right now. Look at Peter. Peter found a deal, y'all, and he is running to it. $10 each, mix and match. T-shirts, bags, caps, or three for 25. There you go. This is what I wanted. Here it is. Oh my, oh my God, this store is so big. Spare jerseys! <laughs> so yeah, this is something. I, I've actually never walked over here and checked it out. Um, it was the, oh yeah, Scott Carpenter, the second American in orbit. And like the capsule crashed here in, or didn't crash, it splashed down here in Grand Turk. How neat. On the uh, return entry. So they've got this little famous exhibit. Oh wow guys, look, this is where we should have come. Look right here. Open chairs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is where we should have come. This is it, this is the secret. This is the secret right here. Look at this, wide open chairs. Now, okay, so forget that side, come to this side. This is probably the best kept secret about Grand Turk in 2022 right here. And we just found it. Look right up here, look at this. Look at this. Boom. All of them, wide open. Wide open. Nobody. This is where we should come. This is it right here. You've got a bar right here. You don't have to walk far. Dang. Dang. Look at that. All right, so definitely come over to this side of the island when you're here in Grand Turk. Uh, it's quiet. It's peaceful. It's not nearly as crazy as... I mean, even look here. Look, we just walked 30 seconds back. Look at this place. Crazy crowded. Okay? If you don't like crowds, head that way. All right, y'all, we got our shopping done. Lauren, a t-shirt. Peter, you got some knickknacks, some goodies. You got a t-shirt, keychain, yeah. magnet. Ration guard. 
kitchen sink. Yeah, you got it all. For fifteen dollars, rash cards. That's it wasn't really a bad price. Ron John too. They were twenty-five dollar teas. Twenty-five dollar teas for 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 oh, Ron for John, tees. which is a really good name brand. You know, they last down a while. Here in the Caribbean. Yeah, so. Definitely maybe don't pass up your shopping opportunity here in Grand Turk. But right now, we're heading back to the ship. It is time for lunch, y'all. Josh is hungry. Yeah. Josh is hungry. Peter, you hungry? I am hungry. Well, let's go eat, man. Let's go eat. We're back on board. Part of a Mardi Gras. That's nice. Goodbye. Bye, Bye, security. Oh, and hello, crowds. Oh boy, I guess a lot of people have the same idea as us. Let's see what they got for the buffet today. Mmm, looks like some green beans. Uh, buttered corn. Yeah, that's like lasagna, isn't it? Well, I don't think it's lasagna. It's mus muscata. Moussaka. Moussaka. Buttered green beans with almonds. That sounds good. Buttered corn on the cob is gone. Spiced chicken kebab. Mahi mahi. Escovich. Escovich? What is that? I don't know what that is. And then rotini sausage casserole. Oh, you want to see if they have that good chocolate cake? Do they have it? They have something different. Chocolate cream cake. Ooh, that still sounds still good. Sounds delicious. Still sounds good. We may have we'll to get that. Here. Yeah. Right? That's food, y'all. Food good? Food's good. Food's good. Everybody's quiet. That means that means we're stuffing our faces. That's it. We're eating lunch. Goodbye.